Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a little tutorial on um, eyeshadow and eyeshadow blending. Um, I'm going to do it on this whole look, but I'm definitely going to focus more on the eyeshadow because I've recently had some friends ask me why they can't get their eyeshadow to blend out and why it looks like they have a black eye when they're doing their eyeshadow. So if you want to know more about eyeshadow blending, please continue to watch. Okay, P.S. Um, I normally always have my nails done and this week for the first time in like literally 10 years, I decided to cut them because I had so many break. They were just looking horrible. They are ratchet. So we're just going to ignore those. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put these baggage claim gold eye masks from Wander Beauty from my BoxyCharm under my eyes because I've got some baggage going on today. Um, next, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm just going to go ahead and do those off camera. So the first thing I'm going to do after I finish with my brows is put Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using this in Fair Beige. I'm going to put this on my eyelids to prime my eyelids and I'm also going to clean up my brows. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the middle and then dab it out with a beauty blender. Now I'm using a shade of this that's a little bit too light for me, but it's just because I want my eyeshadow to show up really well. So I think it works a little better if you're using a lighter concealer. I'm going to go back with a smudge brush from Sephora and just clean up my brows a little bit. So once I have my eyes primed with concealer, I'm going to go ahead with the Morphe G13 brush and just put um, a white color on or like sometimes I even use um, setting powder. So for this, I'm going to use the Soiree Diaries from Pure Cosmetics from a BoxyCharm and I'm going to go with the color Mogul because it's just a really good base color to start out with. I'm going to start out with the Morphe 25B palette. And I'm just going to start with a light transition shade and I'm using the Morphe 505 brush. So I'm going to start out with this light kind of pink tone here. And I'm just going to uh, tap off any excess product. I'm holding this brush towards the end so that I have more control. And I'm going to go really light handedly. It's a lot like chopsticks. You want to hold them more towards the end so that you have more control. I'm just going to go right in the crease with it and just blend it out. Okay, so once I've got that what? blended out, I'm going to go ahead with a, the Morphe 330 brush, which is a tapered brush. Um, they're really similar, but this one's just a little bit thinner and a little bit more pointed. So I'm going to go with just a shade darker, another transition color. So my camera died, so I have been um, talking to myself for no reason. <laughs> and I was using um, this brown color. So what I did was uh, I blended this in with this Morphe 321 brush and then I went back to blend it a little more with the M330 brush um, and then I continued on to this brown here and I am holding the brush a little bit closer to the this end instead of further away. And I'm just blending this right into the crease. Once I have that put right into the crease where I want it, I'm going to go back with the M330 brush and just blend that in a little bit more. I again took the M321 brush and went with this darker brown here. Tapped off the excess product and put that again just right in the corner of my eye and the crease. So I'm going to go back with the Morphe 421 brush. And then I'm going to use the lightest color in this palette right here. This is the Morphe Nature Glow 350 palette. I'm going to tap off any excess product and I'm just going to go right along my brow to highlight and just kind of blend that down. And then I'm going to go with the Morphe 441 brush. And this has no product on it, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend out my whole eye. Next, I'm going to go ahead with the Morphe 421 brush. I am going to use this light kind of pink shade right here from the Morphe Nature Glow 350 palette. So I'm going to put the product on the brush, and then I'm going to take the Sephora Beauty Amplifier and spray that right on there. Just want this to show up really well. I'm just going to start at the bottom and work that onto my lid. Okay, so before I go ahead and do my under eye, I'm actually going to prime my whole face. So first I'm going to go with the MAC Prep and Prime. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead with the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in shade NW10. So this is a little bit light for me. Yes. I'm actually going to mix it with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation yeah. in Y225. Okay, so my camera died for like the third time in a row. Yeah. So I just went right ahead and blended in my foundation and I'm really liking the way it looks right now. It's not too high coverage it just looks right i think it would be a lot more high coverage if i did not mix it with the mac prep and prime oil but since i did it just made it really like flawless it's really good so next i'm gonna go with the tarte shape tape in color light medium honey i'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with a beauty blender So once I've got that blended out, I'm going to go ahead with the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Now I'm going to go back with the Morphe G13 and I'm going to go in with my lightest color right here. Tap off the excess product and go under my eye with that. You just want to do the same thing under your eye that you did on the top of your eye. Okay, now I'm going to go back with the Morphe 321 brush and I'm going to go ahead with the darkest color I use. Tap off any excess product and just start on the outer edge of my eye and work that into the inner. I'm going to go back with the Morphe G13 again and add a little more of the transition color and just kind of blend that out. Okay, so once you've blended out the under eye with the transition color, you're all done with yeah. your eyeshadow. So next I'm gonna go ahead and contour using the Morphe 523 brush and I'm gonna use the MAC bronzing powder. Now I'm going to go with the M510 brush and the Carly Bible. I know this palette's so old and especially my palette is so old from the BH Cosmetics. But I'm going to go ahead and use the highlighter in here. I really like it and it's so underrated. A good price and look at that. Then I'm going to go ahead and set my face. And then I'm going to use this mascara. It's Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara from Thrive Cosmetics that I got in Ipsy. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm going to use this lipstick from Smashbox Cosmetics that I got in BoxyCharm. It's always on Liquid Lipstick Rouge in Psychic Medium. This me. And here's the finished look. See what I'm saying about this highlight? Underrated. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Let me know what you want to see next. Like a pig. Like a pig. Piggy. What's that? Piggy cat. Pig. Medium. Smashbox. 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 Pig. There's a panther. There's a panther. Okay. Is he a pig or a panther? Don't forget to like and subscribe.